Hello again. It's Monday, July 29th, 2019. This is Journal TV and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. It was yet another musical weekend in Covington with entertainers Jerry Wimmer and Ray Scott performing at the Jackson River Sports Complex. Listen. Cause I got thrills and no places where the whiskey drowns and the beer chases my blues away. There ain't no turning back this time. Last Thursday's Iron Gate Town Council meeting, it was decided that potbelly pigs were okay in the town. Additionally, the town decided to move forward with what may soon be a more than $7 million request to the DEQ for a complete sewer system replacement. Listen. Michael Jeffries came by yesterday and he is the engineer with Thompson and Benton that uh, is the town's engineers that have been retained to do the study and work uh, proposal on the sewer system replacement. Uh, he gave us an initial estimate, if you'll remember, when we presented it, of seven million dollars for total replacement. Uh, he presented a uh, request for funding availability from DEQ, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, I've actually made a point to speak to every one of their neighbors and their neighbors have no problem with them. Uh, they came to me, the information came to me from somebody who lived a block away um, about the pigs being there. But I've talked to all, all of their neighbors and they all agree that they don't even really know they're there. They don't hear them, they don't smell them, they just see them go there and play with them. And now a word from our sponsor. Soon, the city of Covington will be formally advertising a number of properties it no longer wishes to own. Two of these are the old Nettleton property and the former Rivermont School. Here is some drone footage of the two. The city is expected to hold a public hearing on the issue soon. Watch. Two interesting events are coming up this week. Tonight, the Garth Newell Emerging Artists will perform at the First Presbyterian Church at 7 p.m. with three exceptional works on tap by Brahms, Shostakovich, and Ravel. And beginning on Friday, the Assembly of God Church in Clifton Forge is hosting a revival August 2nd through 4th. And we'll be right back. Pre-planning a funeral presents a loving and considered gift to your family. Making decisions now provide a framework for future choices. We invite you to stop by the funeral home. Let us answer any questions you may have about pre-funding or pre-arranging a funeral service. Let's take a look at some upcoming events.
And now for local obituaries. David Vallandingham, 61, of Ronsford, died last Wednesday. Dorothy Coleman, 80, of White Sulphur Springs, died last Thursday. Flossie Fix, 90, of Lexington, died on Tuesday. Rebecca Cox, 74, of Clifton Forge, died on Friday. William Boggs, 75, of Caldwell, died on Friday. Paul Moya, 62, of White Sulphur Springs, passed away on Friday. And Donald Fridley, 93, of Millboro, died on Saturday. More information on all obituaries may be found on AlleghenyJournal.com. Let's check out the local weather forecast. On Tuesday, it should be partly cloudy with numerous showers, high at 86 and a low of 67. And on Wednesday, partly cloudy with showers likely, high of 84 and a low of 67. And on Thursday, partly cloudy with scattered thunderstorms, high of 84 and a low of 67 degrees. And that's the way it is on Monday, July 29, 2019. More stories, photos, videos, and interviews are available 24-7, 365 on AlleghenyJournal.com, YouTube, and on our soaring Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching Journal TV.